What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. And today I wanted to make a farming guide. Now a lot of these farming methods are going to be kind of boring, but they work very well. And the first thing that I want to show you is a farming guide for uh, some hides. Uh, you can do this as many times as you want, as long as you do one thing, and that's not defeat all the enemies at the camp and kind of take it over. You want to leave this camp, uh, you know, controlled by the Mongols. You can kind of see the area I'm in here. Of course, you can travel to that fox den if you have not been to this camp yet, or if you need to just a just to have a fast travel spot, that fox den, of course, is right here close. But what you're going to do is run up in this camp. There's a chest in the camp, and there's also two bears. Uh, let the enemies fight the bears. Don't worry about those. Just run on through. Take a left when you come through this front door, and there's a chest always right here. And every time uh, you come in here, this chest will be here. Then what you're going to do is, of course, of course, go loot the two bear hides. The enemies are going to hit you. The enemies are going to fight you. Of course, you can see the bear hide there and, of course, the other bear hide at the front. Sometimes the bears can go to different locations here, so keep that in mind. They may be right here at the front door. They may be a little bit more in the camp. But once you have the chest and the two bear hides, all you're going to do is just let the enemies kill you. And then once you respawn, you're going to be right back here pretty much at the front door. The reason these farming methods that I'm going to show in this video are so easy because the respawn times are very, very fast. Now, I'm not sure if Sucker Punch meant for this to be the way it is. This may get changed in a future update. But as of right now, these are some of the best ways, in my opinion, to farm materials quickly. It is kind of boring. And uh, uh, I will say it's kind of boring just, you know, doing something, respawning, doing something, respawning. But it is a very fast way to do this. Now, there's tons of other farming methods that are out there, of course. Uh, and any other thing that I find kind of along the way as I'm playing, I will bring you guys some separate videos for that. But I kind of wanted to just show you a guide for hides. I'm going to show you a guide, kind of the same kind of methods for farming iron and also some methods for farming flowers in this video. But like I said, as more stuff kind of comes up as, as I'm playing, I will show you some videos for that as well. But once again, as you can see, I just spawned at the front door, came back in, grabbed the chest. Uh, like I said, sometimes it's hard to avoid these enemies. Sometimes those bears, like I said, maybe at the back door, at the back entrance of the camp, so keep that in mind. But all you're going to do every time is open the chest, get both the hides, and then let the enemies kill you and kind of restart. Now, once you have done all this, you're going to want to go either upgrade things uh, from the trapper. Uh, if you have not upgraded all your items, which you're going to see here in a second, I have not, when I recorded this, I had not upgraded everything in the trapper yet. But once you have upgraded everything in the trapper, you can sell these hides to the trapper for supplies. And you know you're always needing supplies to upgrade other things in game. So this is a very good method to be able to upgrade everything in the trapper quickly and then turn around and be able to get supplies from selling these hides so you can upgrade the other things in game quickly. And I know a lot of people are going to say, why would you want to upgrade and do all this so fast? Who wants to beat the game that fast? I'm not really trying to beat the game that fast. I'm just trying to get all my things upgraded. That way I can do what I want, play on whatever difficulty that you want. You'll have everything upgraded. You'll have everything kind of what you need, what you want, uh, and, and the armor sets and things that you're wanting to wear. Everything can be upgraded and done. And then you can just kind of play as, 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 you know, as you want to kind of throughout the game. I'm not really trying to hurry through it, but I'm just trying to show you guys some quick ways to get some of these materials uh, or some of this material farmed up. Like I said, if you have everything upgraded in the trapper all you're going to all you're going to need to do is go out here and sell these uh, hides and as you can see these hides sell for a lot so you can imagine if you sit over there and farm that area i showed you for like an hour you're going to get a lot of hi uh, hides very quickly so this is a good way to like i said upgrade everything in the trapper have all that stuff done and then sell the hides for supplies the next thing i'm going to show you is a box that's kind of sitting out here just in the middle of nowhere not too far from where we just were and this box will respawn every time you respawn so you can always get some material out of this box pretty much instantly as you can see uh you can see kind of where we're at like i said not far from where we just were but are kind of up the stream from where we just were but this is not far at all from the hot spring so this is a very easy place to get to most people have uh access to hot to the hot springs pretty much from the start of the game you get access to it very early but all you're going to need to do is just hop off open up the box and then reset your checkpoint and then every time you reset the checkpoint, this box will have the material in it. Like I said, there's only one item in here uh, when it comes to uh, steel. But this is a very good way to just sit here and farm steel over and over. Because like I said in the past, it is very easy to reset uh, or very fast to uh, reset you know, the checkpoint, very fast to reload the load screen. So just make sure you go down to options, reset that checkpoint, and then it's going to spawn you standing pretty much right on this box again 
and you can just do this over and over and get plenty of steel from this box to upgrade your weapons and things like that. The next area I'm going to show you is another thing that's pretty much the same kind of concept, but instead of being here, we're going to go down to uh, the inn, the Traveler's Inn, and that is another area that has a, a chest in it that can reset just over and over, and then pretty much, pretty much the same concept. Whenever you reset your checkpoint, you're going to be able to uh, get that box just as many times as you would like. And as you can see, the, that first area right there where the wind is where we were, now we're just kind of over to the creek side just a little bit further. This is going to be the end. I'm sure most of you have been here and seen this. You're just going to ride up in here and go into this building right past this. Uh, there, there should be a, uh, a NPC pretty much standing right here on this little porch of this house. And you're going to go right inside this area here, and there will be a box. You're going to open up this box. Same process. You can open it up, reset your checkpoint. It will spawn you right back here where you're at. And you can open this box as many times as you want. Of course, you only get one steel and some uh, supplies out of it. But that will add up quickly because, like I said, the respawn times are so fast when you reset that checkpoint that it's not really a long process of having to wait for a long load screen or anything like that. Uh, once you have done these, and if you're wanting to farm some other things like flowers, I'm going to show you some places you can farm flowers as well. And a quick tip on farming those flowers, in case you guys did not know. Um, the, the three best places, in my opinion, to farm flowers in-game are spring uh, the Hidden Spring Forest, the Grasslands, and the Golden uh, Forest. I'm going to show you the Hidden Spring Forest first. Of course, all of these are pretty close to places you could, you should have fast travel points to. But once you're here at the Hidden Springs Forest, which of course is right outside the Hot Springs, if you're not aware, you can set your wind to track flowers that have not been found. So I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second. But as you can see down here on the bottom of the screen, it says Guiding Wind Target. All you have to do is hit right on your D-pad. And you can scroll down to things that are undiscovered in the area. So what you want to do is hit undiscovered flowers. And then you're going to pretty much just spam the wind button to find flowers that are near you in the area. And this is going to just guide you to those flowers. So you're just going to spam this, uh, the, the wind button while you're in here. Follow the wind to the flowers. You can just ride around here and find tons of flowers. You can do that as also. But this is a pretty easy way in case you did not know how to do that. This is a very easy way to do that also. Another good thing about this area is there's tons of wood in this area also. So you're going to find tons of wood that you can collect along with those flowers. The only thing that I'm not 100% sure about is when you reset this checkpoint, flowers do seem to spawn back here. They don't seem to be in the same area. So I'm not sure if they're on a respawn timer for like plants and things of that nature that are in game. They don't seem to act quite like the other two things that I've showed you when you respawn. You know, they're there automatically. These flowers seem to be in different areas when you do respawn the location or when you respawn, you know, and change your checkpoint and respawn back in the game in this area. So just keep that in mind. But this is a great place to do this. Like I said, some other really good places I'll show you here in just a second to do this are going to be the grasslands and the golden forest. Now, the golden forest and the grasslands are two other places. Like I said, you do not have to do this this kind of wind trick, but uh, it is available if you if you're kind of, you know, not familiar with the area. But some of these places, depending on the time of day, are hard to see some of these flowers on the ground. But of course, th that is where we were uh, just for the uh, Hidden Springs. Here's the Golden Temple. Of course, the Golden Forest is right below it. And of course, the grasslands is kind of over to the right of the map down here on the bottom uh, near that fox den. So there's several places you can spawn in all these areas if you have fast travel locations to get there. Anyway, guys, I hope this was some uh, kind of helpful tips for kind of farming in game. Like I said, I know some of them may be boring. But if you're needing some quick materials, this is a very easy way to do it. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you have a chance to check out GT Racing, they are the affiliate here on the channel. And all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.